Just four years after it went in, this is an image many Panthers fans never thought they'd see. The statue of former team owner Jerry Richardson being hoisted away and removed from Bank of America Stadium today. Chopper 9 has been flying over the stadium for hours, and you can see what's left there. One of the Panthers also is gone, loaded onto a truck. They're trying to remove the last Panther from that podium tonight. And underneath the uh, blue tarp on a truck nearby is the statue of Jerry Richardson. You see right there getting ready to move that to what they call an undisclosed location. This all happened very quickly today. Around 1.30, we got a tip that this was going to go down. And sure enough, 30 minutes later, crews arrived at the stadium to start that whole process. Thanks for joining us. I'm Scott Wickersham. And I'm Elsa Gillis. We want to start our team coverage with Channel 9's Joe Bruno. Joe, you were the first reporter there and were able to confirm this was actually happening. What is left of the statue right now? He was known around here as Top Cat. But the disgraced former NFL owner, Jerry Richardson, will stand tall outside Bank of America Stadium no longer. In fact, the statue is still here, but it is laying down on this flatbed truck for the moment underneath that blue tarp as crews work to dismantle the remaining Panther from that statue. I was the first reporter out here today after we got the tip that this would be happening. Here's the moment when the 13-foot Jerry Richardson statue was lifted up and away from Bank of America Stadium. You might remember David Tepper previously said he is contractually obligated to keep the statue in place. Today, the team said there are concerns people may try to take it down, so they are moving it in the interest of public safety. Dozens of fans packed Graham Street to watch the statue come down. Many say they are happy to see a change, especially in light of all the protests that have been happening in Charlotte and across the country. But I understand why, and we're in a new regime, and, uh, you know, it's always go Panthers. Now they're working on this last Panther right here. They've been working on it for about an hour, but all of this is supposed to wrap up by about 8 o'clock. Back to you. All right, Joe, let's bring in now sports reporter Matt Harris. Uh, Matt, I know you've spoken to some Panthers players, including safety Trey Boston, who said that this was an opportunity for the team to lead by example. In 2016, at the height of peaceful protest by Colin Kaepernick taking a knee against police brutality, Trey Boston said that he and other Panthers were told not to protest. Trey Boston said that that is a message that trickled down from the top. Boston said that Jerry Richardson's message was people come to watch football, not protest. He says after he and other Panthers were advised not to protest, that they would be put out in the community with a chance to use their voice and platform as they saw fit. But Trey said by season's end, players never got that opportunity. He said players wanting to get involved hasn't changed, but ownership has. And Boston says that it's a complete 180 under David Tepper, a complete culture shift. Tepper is accessible. He puts himself out there. He even calls Trey Boston. And Trey said when he's talking to David Tepper, he doesn't feel like he's talking to the owner. He feels like he's talking to a friend. And the formation of the Players Coalition and Tepper's leadership style is why guys have been peacefully protesting, like we saw last week with Trey, Shaq Thompson, and other guys out in the community. They're comfortable using their voice more. That's how we make a difference, and that's how uh, owners can help their players when, you know, he's matching us and putting up donations uh, with the guys towards funds that, you know, th the guys wanted to go to. So, um, again, it, it means a lot to, you know, have a guy like that behind you. Boston says he's much more comfortable as a leader on and off the field because of the leader that David Tepper is. For now, live at Bank of America Stadium, I'm Matt Harris. Back to you. All right, Matt, thank you. And there was talk about taking down the statue in 2017 when racism and sexual harassment allegations first came to light. Sports Illustrated reporting back then that there was a complaint that Richardson used a racial slur toward an African-American scout. The magazine also reported that everyone in the office called Richardson Mr. And that was troubling to some African-American workers for the team. The NFL investigated Richardson for workplace misconduct. The league fined him $2.7 million. Well, Richardson, of course, later sold the team to David Tepper. Tepper said that part of the contract he signed included keeping that statue at the stadium. 
He never, we never learned, rather, how long that agreement lasted. But today, the Panthers said they were hearing people were plotting to try to take that statue down. So they removed it themselves, they said, for public safety issues. A spokesperson for Richardson told us today that he's worked to treat all people fairly in his business and personal lives and like many other Americans is troubled by recent events in Minneapolis, Charlotte and all around the country. So again, another live look at what's left of the statue. You can see it's uh, laying there covered with a tarp getting ready to be hauled away as soon as they can get that third Panther off there. They've been working on that for quite some time. The process, they say, is expected to take until about eight o'clock. And as the Panthers have said, this will go to an undisclosed location.